Welcome back. In this video, we'll handle a few different scenarios where neither player has enough pieces left to checkmate the other, ever. For example, if both players only have their king left, the game would never end, regardless of the player's skill levels. Neither king can ever move next to the other, because that would leave it in check. In this case, and a few others, the game should end immediately with an insufficient material draw. Ok, let's get started. We begin by creating a class inside chess logic called counting. The purpose of this class is to store how many pieces of each kind the two players have. So we'll add a dictionary for the white pieces. And one for the black pieces. The key is a piece type, and the value is the number of pieces with that type. So we can look up how many pieces there are of a certain kind. We'll also add a property for the total number of pieces on the board. Next, let's add a constructor. Here we'll add an entry for each piece type to both dictionaries. We can loop over all piece types like this. And for each of them, we set both the white count and black count to zero initially. Next, let's add an increment method. It takes a color and a piece type and increments the corresponding count. So if the color is white, We increment the entry for the type in white count. Otherwise, if it's black, we increment the entry in black count. And we must also increment total count here. Finally, we'll add two public methods. One called white. Which returns the number of white pieces of a certain type. And a similar method called black. it returns the number of black pieces of a certain type. That's it for this class. Now let's open the board class. Here we'll write a method called count pieces. It returns a counting of all the active pieces on the board. It doesn't have to be public at the moment, 
but it might be useful for implementing computer-controlled players in the future. In the body, we create a new counting. and loop over all occupied positions on the board. For each of them, we grab the piece, and increment the count for its color and type. After the loop, the counting is complete and we can return it. Now we can write a method called insufficient material. It returns true if the remaining pieces on the board are insufficient for either player to ever checkmate the other. We start by counting the current pieces on the board. And then there are a few scenarios to test for. We'll add a method for each of them. Until they are ready, let's return false as a placeholder. The first method we need detects the king versus king scenario we've already seen. This method takes the counting as parameter and returns true if only the kings are left. All we have to do is check if there are only two pieces left. If so, they must be the kings. That's because a king cannot be captured. The next scenario we'll test for is a king and a bishop versus a king. These pieces alone are also insufficient for either player to checkmate the other. We check if there are three pieces left. And one of them is a white bishop or a black bishop. The remaining two pieces must be the kings. King and knight versus king is also insufficient for checkmate. We check if there are three pieces left and one of them is a knight. The final scenario we must check is king and bishop versus king and bishop. These pieces are insufficient for checkmate if both bishops are on the same colored squares. Bishops only move diagonally, so they can never move to a square with a different color. If there are not exactly four pieces left, we return false. Next, if there is not exactly one bishop for each player,
we also return false. If we get past those two returns, there are four pieces on the board, a white bishop, a black bishop, and both kings of course. Now we need to check if the bishops are standing on squares of the same color. For that, we need to locate them on the board. So let's add a little helper method called find piece. It searches for a piece with the given color and type and returns the position of the first instance it finds. We can write this code in one line. First, we get the piece positions with the right color. And then pick the first one containing a piece of the right type. Back in this method, we can now get the position of both bishops And I can see that I made a mistake here. This method cannot be static because find piece is an instance method. Anyway, we can now return true if and only if the bishops are on the same colored squares. Here we use positions square color method, which we added in one of the first parts. With this in place, we can now finish the insufficient material method. It should return true if the only remaining pieces are two kings. Two kings and a bishop. two kings and a knight, or if both players only have a king and a bishop, and the bishops are on squares of the same color. Perfect. Now we just have to check for insufficient material after a move has been made. So let's go to the game state class and locate check for game over. Here we'll check if the remaining pieces are insufficient for checkmate. And if so, set the result to a draw and specify insufficient material as the reason. And that's it. The game over window in the UI project is already set up to display this information correctly. So let's just check it out. First, we test the king versus king scenario. Perfect. Now let's try king versus king and bishop. That also works. What about king versus king and knight? Yep. And king and bishop versus king and bishop? Here the game did not end, and that is correct behavior because the bishops are not on the same colored squares. But in this state they are. So if I capture the pawn, the game ends in a draw. We've covered all the insufficient material cases in this video, but games can also end with other so-called dead positions. Take a look at this one, for example. 
Even though there are many pieces left, neither player can ever checkmate the other. Can you see why? Just like for insufficient material, such a position should result in a draw immediately. But as far as I can tell, even the big online chess engines don't try to detect such positions. That's probably because it's hard and or would cause too much strain on their servers. But in the next video, we will add another rule which will eventually end games like this one with a draw. See you then.